brownies, the little fairy folk, can be found throughout Britain. There is a particularly nice one up in Scotland called a Grugash. She is a kind-hearted guardian of grazing animals, leading them to water and protecting them from harm. Although she is rather ugly, she is always welcomed into crofters homes so that you can seek warmth at the fire, as she also brings good luck with her. The belief in this Grugash continued up into the early 1900s in the islands of Scotland. Milk would be poured into hollow stones as offerings to her. There is another very interesting one, called a brownie called Harry Meg, who lived in the farmhouse of Acknarrow near Glenlivet. As per usual, the brownie did all the work and was regularly rewarded with a bowl of milk and a piece of oat cake. After a particularly bad year on the farm, the crops failed and the animals died, the farmer decided he couldn't afford to keep the rest of the servants, so he sacked them, much to Harry Meg's disgust. She was so upset that she went on strike, refusing to do any of the chores and throwing pots and pans around the farmhouse. Harry Meg made such a nuisance of herself that the farmer had to relent and give all the servants back their jobs, and immediately Harry Meg regained her temper. Claypot's castle at Brighty Ferry, Tayside, used to be the home of another brownie. He did all the chores as well about the place in return for a bowl of cream. But there was one thing that the hard-working brownie couldn't stand, and that was lazy servants. The brownie became so cross with one particular kitchen maid that he beat her with some cabbage stalks, then stormed out of the castle, cursing the house and occupants never to be seen again. I have heard that he has moved in with a nice family around the Glasgow area but I may be wrong. <clears throat> the Aberdeen brownies have no separate toes or fingers, but in the Scottish lowlands they have a hole instead of a nose, while some have no mouth, just huge noses. Bodespec Farm in Dumfries and Galloway, at this farm, situated near Moffat, was very prosperous due to a hard-working brownie that lived there. After an exceptionally good harvest one year, the farmer wished to give the brownie a reward for all his hard work, so he left a loaf of bread and a pan of cream out for the brownie instead of the usual bread and water. But the farmer found to his cost that the brownies are easily offended, for he stormed off the farm shouting over his shoulder as he went, car brownie car and all the luck of Bodespec away to Lathan Hall. So obviously he left and never came back. Thank you for listening to this little blog about brownies. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a magical day and I'll see you again.